our package from Mr. Ludwig. For me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 she's a beauty. Oh, I do.
Hurry up, Lel. I'm in the mood for a good kidnapping. Not now, Snidely. But, Lel, we scheduled this kidnapping weeks ago. I know, but I am not ready. Oh, come on, Lel. It's always the same excuses. I'm too tired to be kidnapped. The rope gives me hay fever. I'm expecting a call. Ugh. Will you have the easy part, Snidely? Why don't I kidnap you for a change? It's against the rules, Nell. Damsels aren't allowed to kidnap villains. Oh, it is always the same. If I get kidnapped one more time, I shall scream. Nell, you're supposed to scream when you're kidnapped. All right, all right. Help, save me, eek. Add a little more feeling, Nell. I'm supposed to be kidnapping you, not reading you a bedtime story. Help, save me, eek. There! Why was that so hard? through Canada in the fall of 1928, but the biggest Chinook of them all was Dudley Do-Right, who blew through Canada at the turn of the century. Farewell, Mother. I am off to the movies. Take care of yourself, son, and don't forget to write. Dudley spent the next three hours in what he thought was a darkened theater, but was actually a sewer in downtown Ripsaw Falls. Oh, my. I am guilty of trespassing. The family code was a Do-Right must always do right. So the conscious stricken lad turned himself in to the closest mounted police post, which was 500 miles away in northern Alberta. This particular post was then under the able command of Inspector Ray K. Fenwick, a full-blooded Canadian born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. Ordinarily, I'd give you 20 years for your crime. You can have it for nothing if you wish. The inspector knew a comeback when he heard it. How would you like to be a mounted? I would rather live in Philadelphia. But when Dudley saw the official Mountie uniform, particularly the string that was attached to the pistol, he was hooked. A Mountie I shall be! After about an hour and a half of basic training, he was ready for his first job. That night, outside the Ripsaw Regional Reserve, a skulking figure clad in black stole up to a rear window, opened it, and entered into the bank illegally. I smell money, pelf, mammon, filthy lucre. The gentleman with the withdrawal symptoms is that villainous rascal Snidely Whiplash. I may be a Harvard man, but there's nothing I like better than picking a Yale lark. 
but Whiplash was going to get it early, for who should be waiting inside the booth? None other than our hero, Dudley Do-Right, who had mistaken it for a telephone booth. Elevate your hand, Skyward Whiplash, else I shall fire in your general direction with my multi pistol with the cord on it. Do-Right, what do you want from me? A nickel to make my phone call, then you shall accompany me to prison, where you will do time, and a few other magazines, too. Classes foiled again. Romance. You'll find it all in Ripsaw Falls, a brand new moving picture starring Hardly With It as Dudley Do Right. This is about the squarest movie I've ever seen. Hmm. That's right, sir. Square shooting Dudley Do Right at your service. And also starring as the caramelized apple in Dudley's sauce. Lovely Steel Magnolia as Nello Fenwick. Oh, hello, Dudley, you bashful boy. Turn around and tell me, old man, you see your little Nell. Oh, I'm sorry, Dudley. You let me put it back for you. And both last and least, as that odious, nefarious, despicable, dastardly villain, rash behavior as snidely whiplash. Now, who'd you expect? Bottom is bad at all? You're right. You'll never do right again. Prevail in the final reel. Don't expect me to tell you, you'll just have to go see Rips All Falls and find out for yourself. Tranquility had settled over Rips All Falls. Birds were singing, butterflies were flying, and fish were swimming, including the poorest fish of all, Dudley Do Right. That ice is certainly thick. So is your head, Dudley. The vision of loveliness administering first aid to our hero is the haunting and ever-popular Nell Fenwick. She and Dudley have been engaged for 22 years. You need someone to take care of you. I have my horse. You need a woman. What is a woman? I am a woman, Dudley, and I have decided to let you marry me. Ten minutes later, they stood before the preacher. And if there is anyone present who objects to this union, let him speak now. The gentleman about to object is Dudley's lifelong enemy, the malevolent Snidely Whiplash. I don't know what it means, but I object. Whiplash, you cur. So you would ruin my wedding, eh? As a starter, yes. Dudley picked up the thing nearest to him, which happened to be Nell, and threw it. Aha! I have her and you shall never get her back. Or any other part of her. Quick, do right. Give chance. High above rips off all sat Snidely Whiplash's nefarious hideout. Why are you doing this, you devil? Because, Miss Fenwick, I love you. Well, let's say I like you a lot. But I despise you. You won't be mine. Never. Well, if I can't have you, neither can do right. He tied Nell to a log, pulled the lever, and started her on her way to the teeth of a giant saw. Fortunately, the conveyor belt was in need of oiling, and the trip was a slow one. I must get word to Dudley. Three days later... I ran all the way from Whiplash's sawmill. I have an urgent letter for Constable Do-Right. It's the Nell. I've never been to the ship anyway. Yes, it's from Nell, all right. Well, I took it away from That would be against the law, sir. You see, there isn't a stamp on the envelope. And there you have the reason why Dudley wrote to the saw mill, dashed inside where Nell was still on her way to the saw, talked her into sticking a stamp on the envelope, dashed outside the saw mill, rode all the way back to the post, and said to the inspector, <laughs> It's from Nell, sir. She needs help. Well, stand there, do right. Don't just do something. It took them an hour and a half to straighten out that last line. But eventually, Dudley was on his way to the rescue. Would he make it in time? Oh, save me, save me! So, I mean, see, rip, saw, falls for the cutting conclusion of this melodrama. Good time. Run! Don't walk to your nearest moving picture theater to see Ripsaw Falls. A soaring, smashing, high kicking Canadian cliffhanger starring Dudley Do Right. Ripsaw Falls. See it.
with someone you don't mind sitting next to. Ripsaw falls, and sometimes it doesn't. One of the times it didn't was back in the year 1901. There it was, pouring itself all over the place. And then suddenly, without warning, honeymoon couples stood transfixed. Who was responsible for this black deed? Who else but that scoundrel, Snidely Whiplash, who had concocted a diabolical scheme to undermine Canada's economy? From a travel booth at the bottom of the now dry falls... Honeymooners, listen to me! Don't spend your money in Canada! Come to beautiful Okefenokee Swamp in the lush Florida Everglades! Scores of couples disappointed by Ripsaw's inactivity rushed to the charlatan, and in no time at all, the news reached the mounted police. Do right, all the honeymooners are going to Florida. Tell me you are joshing, Inspector. Oh, wish I were. We must do something. Do right wasted no time in getting to Ripsaw. He arrived just as Snidely Whiplash was making the dam even more secure than ever. You up there, drop that rock. When our hero awoke, he found himself tied to a railroad track, and the 1202 was on its way. Whiplash, you black-hearted scoundrel, what are you up to besides no good? It's a new game called Eraser, in which I get to rub you out. Just around the bend, the 1202 was right on schedule. This was it then. This was our valiant hero's swan song. His future would all be past. Nevermore would his innate goodness run the Canadian wilds. Will Dudley escape the bone-crushing wheels of injustice? Will Ripsaw Falls fall again? Don't miss this exciting melodrama for the answer. You sent for me, sir! The bounties always get their man! see Dudley in one of Nell's costumes? Yeah, he's on his way to a dress rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Beaver. Uh-uh. It's me. I have a question. Uh -huh. What's today's show about anyway? Uh -huh. Oh, Snidely kidnaps Nell, and Dudley rides to the rescue. Wait a minute, Beaver. Wasn't that yesterday's show? <laughs> yeah, but these folks don't know that. Wait a minute. What if one of these nice folks was already here yesterday? Then their heads are even emptier than ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just you. Psst. Beaver. Uh, yeah? Beaver. Look at all these tourists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hey, sir! Are you on a pleasure trip or did you bring your whole family? <laughs> did you bring <laughs> your whole family? <laughs> <laughs> You're small, but effective. Hey, hey, Beaver. Uh huh. See that guy over there? What guy? That guy right there. Okay, I, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him in 20 years. Oh, big deal. See that lady over there? Yeah, yeah. That one with the red hat? I haven't seen her in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice hat lady, but he don't recognize you. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, hey, Beaver. Uh-huh. I got a question for you. What? What? How come we don't have dress rooms like Nell and Dudley, huh? Because we're just bit players hanging around. Hey, 
I never bit nobody. No, I mean our parts were cut. Oh, I was wondering where the rest of me was. <laughs> A scarf and we're dressed. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Beaver. Uh-huh. Word has it that Nell does some singing in the show. Oh, I'm afraid so. Does she hit a high C? No, more like lousy. Oh, I get it. Lousy. Lousy. <laughs> La lousy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just shattered my contact lenses. Oh, my goodness. I I'm all right. I'm all right. Hey, Bear! Yeah, yeah, what? I don't mean to interrupt you, but do you know why Snidely took a jump rope into the next scene? No, no, tell me why, why? <laughs> because he's gonna skip bail! Skip, <laughs> skip bail! <laughs> hey, you know something? You really roped me into that one! Yeah! That one gets some every twine! Every, every twine! twine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need a nap. There's a do love barn on Excuse me, hey, Bear. Yeah, yeah, what? May I ask you a personal question? Go ahead, guy. I'm not busy. Uh -huh. Why are you always staring down at the ground? Why am I always staring down at the ground? Uh-huh. Why? Because I heard there's going to be a floor show. No. <laughs> Hey, easy, easy on those rim Take drugs. it easy, will you? There's too much rim. You know, and much too much shot. Bear, with right. jokes like ours, be grateful they're not gunshots. <laughs> what? Holy Wait a minute. I was, am, I, am I? Is my hair on straight? Love that scary. Don't do that without telling us. Hey, Beaver. Uh-huh. What is it, Bear? What do you seem preoccupied? Well, I am just sick of hanging around this prop department. Why, why? Oh, I want to roll, Bear. I want to roll. I can sink my two teeth into. Hey, wait a minute. The last time that happened, you chewed up the scenery. You nearly brought the house down. Oh, very, very uh -huh. funny, Bear. And whom mauled the leading lady? Hey, she asked for a bear claw. She meant a donut, you furhead. Oh, a donut. Uh-huh. Oh, she didn't make that clear. She must have been so surprised when I grabbed her and she went, whoop! <laughs> How do you do? How do? I am delighted to see you. How do you do? What a surprise. How are you? <laughs> How charming. Hey, 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 hey. How do you do? Beaver. Yeah? Uh, just a moment. How do you do? <laughs> There certainly is a lot of fine scenery passing oh, by. Yeah. Like the lady with the long hair down her back, see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too bad it isn't attached to her head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bear. Yeah. I don't know what you're looking at all the pretty girls for. Well, I mean, they... well, I'll tell you something as a friend. You have a very beautiful wife at home. She looks like a million bucks. Yeah, she yeah. does. All wrinkled and green. <laughs> all wrinkled and green. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, it's a good thing pretty girls don't bother us. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, but sometimes, Beaver. What? I sure wish they would. Oh. It's lovely hanging here and having you all that. Say you know. That again. I mean. Oh wait. How do you do? How do? How are you? How do you do? Lovely. Hi. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. But I have to tell you, this is the last time I play a ferocious grizzly. Why, Bear? Well, I just don't have the stomach for it. Oh, oh, oh. That's funny. These jokes are turning my stomach. And you know what? I don't even have one either. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. It just... uh, where did that come from? I'll protect you. Uh, what's her name? Nell. Oh. Don't worry, Nell. I'll protect you. I'll... Aw, oh, dear. I've got to rehearse my next scene. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Would one of you nice people mind feeding me my lines? Oh, oh the last lady that fed you your lines, you ate her arm clear up to the elbow. <laughs> but I said that I was sorry, and I, I gave her back the charm bracelet, didn't I? Yeah, but you kept the Rolex.
Yodel de doo, yodel daddle doddle dee. What? Excuse me, but what are you doing? I'm rehearsing. I'm up for the part of Blue Jean Saddle Rash, the famous singing cowboy. <laughs> Who ever heard of a country singing bear? What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's a small world. After all, oh. yodel dee doddle ja dee. dee. Stupid stars! Uh, Nell and Dudley. Not to mention Horse and Snidely. Yeah, we can act circles around you them. You can say that again. We can act circles around You've them. You've got that right. Well, what do they have that we haven't? Arms, Arms and, and legs! legs. <laughs> <laughs> A place to sit down. I forgot. That's all behind us. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, this is charming. Wow, look at the bear. I mean, look at this crowd. Look at all these people. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no wonder. No wonder nobody comes here anymore because it's always so crowded. What are you so nervous about today? Well, I mean, I heard, I heard that a lot of VPs, a lot of VPs are in today's audience. No, don't worry. There won't be any left when this show's over. <laughs> don't we, really? Uh -huh. it's all... How do you do? How do? How are you? How do? How charming. How doody doody do. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't leave. <laughs> What's wrong now? My nose itches. So ask some of these lovely people to scratch it. Oh, uh, I can't. Why not? Well, I'm embarrassed. Oh, please. Get it? Embarrassed. I'm oh. a bear, and I'm embarrassed. Oh, please. <laughs> and folks, don't even think about it, please. After all, he is an endangered species. Just read the back of my plaque. Find oh. out who I am. Say, Beaver. What is it now? Oh, Beaver, is it hot in here? Well, I guess so, but it doesn't Well, matter. you know what that means, don't you? Oh, no, don't please, you? don't start with those. Snidely oh, no. must have robbed a snowbank. Oh, spare us, please, spare for the love of And now, of Dudley is in hot pursuit. Oh. <laughs> please. Yes, a rare double rim shot. May I make a personal remark? You know, you would be a very famous bear, the most famous bear to around, if you were just half as funny as your well-known jokes. <laughs> yes, I wish I could say it as smoothly as you just did. Take him away, Inspector. Hey, Beaver. What is it? You know something? What? I, I wish I had a beak like a bird. A beak? Like a bird? Uh-huh. All right, I'll bite. Why? Because then I'd get top billing. Oh, billing? billing? Uh, uh, uh. You know, Bear, you must be part chicken, because all your jokes keep laying eggs. <laughs> I'll take a dozen. La 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 la. You know something? I think I'm going to go away to study singing. Oh, good, oh good. Just make sure it's far away. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'll have you know that when I sing, people clap their hands. Yeah, over their ears. <laughs> over their <laughs> la 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 la. la, la, la. <laughs> I think I hurt myself. Hadi, hadi, ha, hadi. Oh, don't. Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Aren't you taking care of that cold? I must be. I've had it for three weeks, and it's as good as new. <laughs> no. Hadi. Hold on! Hadi. <laughs> what? Oh, who needs this? Hey, Beaver. What? A big Hollywood producer keeps calling me. Wow. Why don't you answer? Because I don't like what he's calling me. Oh. He's calling me names. Oh my oh, god, that makes me very angry. A bear? Yeah, yeah. You know what's on my mind? What? what? That's Snidely. Yeah. Boy, oh, he reminds me of a toothache I once had. Oh yeah, what about Nell? Uh -huh. Now there's a girl with a soft heart. And a head to match. <laughs> <laughs> And Inspector Fenwick, now there's a model actor. Oh, sure, but not a working model. <laughs> How do you think of these things? Well, I'm hanging around. Do you have a writer? And let's...
let's not forget Dudley. Now, there's a guy with a photographic mind. Yeah, too bad it never developed. <laughs> I heard he went to a mind reader. And was only charged half price. Oh. <laughs> if an idea ever gets in his head, it'll be in solitary confinement. Ah, are you <laughs> up today? <laughs> Hey, Beef. Uh-huh. I was just thinking. What a surprise. <laughs> Aren't Nell and Dudley romantic? I mean, I bet it was love at first sight. Oh, yeah. Until Nell took a second look. <laughs> oh, she oh, took a second look! Ah, I've heard they've been happy for over 20 years. Yeah, they were happy right up until the day they met. Oh, <laughs> you killed me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bear. Yeah? And I heard you bumped your head on stage last night. I did, night. I did. Well, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm okay. And I have already settled with my insurance company. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They paid me in one lump sum. <laughs> one lump sum. <laughs> now I have a headache. Tough, that's how it goes. Hey, Beaver, uh -huh. whatever happened to Snidely's big trip to Hollywood? Oh, he made two pictures at the same time. Really? Uh-huh. His first and his last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beaver, uh -huh. you want to know how hot it is outside? No. Ah, oh, come on. Ask me how hot it is. Oh, all right. How hot is it? It's so hot, the cows are giving evaporated milk. Get it! If I bring milk. Hello, operator. Operator, I've been disconnected. Oh, may we all live to be as old and as tired as his jokes. You want to leave a wake up call? Oh, please. Say, there goes a woman with a pretty chin. Oh, sure. In fact, it's so nice, she's added two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! And that guy's ears are so big, he looks like a... A taxi cab with both doors oh. open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that redhead oh. is quite a pretty wow. picture. you can say that again. Too bad her frame's all out of whack. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no more. My stomach is cramping up. We, we don't, don't have stomachs! Keep moving, folks. Keep moving right along, please. The show you're about to see is full of surprises. Yeah, I just wish it was full of talent. Oh, come on. Now, please, Bear, it's a special sneak preview. Which means, after five minutes, you'll want to sneak out. Ah, but it's got a real happy ending. Right. As soon as it ends, you'll be happy. Uh -huh. Oh, don't listen to him, folks. He saw the show under bad conditions. I certainly did. The curtain was up. Oh, <laughs> stop that. No, it's so bad, people were lined up to get out of the theater. You people were lined up to get out of the theater. Hello? Hello, operator? Is there a doctor in the house? A light. A light. My kingdom for a light. That was very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, Bear, I wish I was born in the dark ages. You know something? Huh. So do I. Because you look awful in the light ages. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Well, some people consider me a striking figure. I'll tell you the truth. If you weren't so small, I would consider not striking you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, name one thing wrong with this face. First of all, it shows... Come on, I don't even look 30, do I? Mm, no. Good. But I bet when you were 30, you did look at me. Oh. Now, seriously, Bear, do you think I'll lose my looks as I get older? Only if you're lucky. Oh, that's terrible. What are you grinning at? Is that your real face, or are you still celebrating Halloween? Trick or treat, trick or treat. There.
Beyond the fractured flicker of the silver screen, we enter a moving melodrama. Nightly whiplash, unhand me. But Nell, I love you, and I'm pretty fond of kidnapping you too. Dudley, save me. Stop struggling now. You know I have a bad back. Unhand me, you thing. Flattery will get you nowhere. I'll save you now. Horse. Enough, ML. Are you complaining? I'm doing all the work. Release me, Whiplash, you villain. That's Mr. Villain to you, Nell. Help, Dudley. Save me. Nell, you've gained a little weight since I kidnapped you last. Is there a Monty in the house? And so, as the squeaky wheels of our saga grind on, will our hero give chase? arranges a smashing reception. Horse, I can barely see. <laughs> With do right derailed, Whiplash finds Nell fit to be tied. to pieces. Help! Save me! Marry me now before it's too late. How did I get roped into this? Whiplash, you fiend! Flattery will get you flat. Snidely, what if a train comes? You will make quite an impression. <laughs> I say, you're going the wrong way.
horse. I lost my train of thought. Rising to the occasion, our escalating danger draws us right into Snidely's crossfire. Oh, 
always gets his man. Pass startled again. moving melodrama coasts to its inevitable conclusion, we find that a jailbird in can is worth two in ambush. Here, Beaver Beaver. I'll trade you the key for this tasty log. Stupid wood rat, get me out of here! How you do it, Dadler? Me either, sir. <laughs> At ease, do right. I don't know how, sir. And so our hero proves a Mountie always gets his man, but not always his girl. Please. Remain seated in your log, keeping your hands and feet inside at all times. Please, remain seated in your log until an attendant instructs you further.